You'll never believe what happens to Superman. Let's talk about uh, your plans for Action Comics 1000. Yes. Is it true that you're doing a thousand different variant covers? That was my goal, and I, I actually did try to figure it out, Mike. Uh, I figured, Wait, you weren't joking for real? No, no, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, oh, right. if you did, you know, um, a bunch of covers, and then you, how many different variants could you do of each cover? Because you would have, that's the only way to make it, you know, possible. But a thousand's a huge number. Uh, when we did uh, DK3, we did, I think, about 72 covers. You know, retailers had covers. So if you do a lot of retailer exclusive covers, and they have three versions where it's black and white, mm -hmm. maybe one without a logo on it, one full color. Uh, you can still get to like 200 something, you know, it's the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I think there's, it, it, and ultimately, no one's going to buy a thousand, right? So uh, I think it's just kind of a fun, theoretical kind of idea to run through. That said, we do have big plans for that issue. Uh, variants aside, there will be variants, but not a thousand. Maybe it'll be like a hundred, you know, uh, you know, so that it kind of plays into that theme a little bit. And a lot of different creators taking part in the, a in lot the story. Of, yeah, a lot of the people have really uh, defined Superman the past uh, decade or more are coming back and doing uh, parts of the story. But we also want to make it more than just an anniversary issue. It's actually going to be the first issue of a big arc that basically resets or redefines Superman in a, in a very unique way. So the way I look at it is, you know, newscasters out there are going to go like, oh, Superman hits a thousand. And we don't want it to be just that. We don't want it to just be uh, a collectible because it hit 1,000. We want there to be a tagline underneath. You'll never believe what happens to Superman. And that's what, that's what we feel will drive people to the stores and really help uh, drive sales on that book. Doom Dick Clock has had a big presence here. You guys yeah. have, uh, um, by the time this runs, we'll, we'll have seen the first six pages of the first that's issue. Right, that's right. By Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Um, obviously, there's a massive amount of anticipation, expectation, and pressure yes. on the book. Um, are you excited about what Jeff and Gary are doing to expand the Watchmen universe and kind of bring it together with the DCU? Yeah, uh, I think, uh, you know, everyone knew going in that this would be very scrutinized. Uh, obviously, we felt uh, some of that uh, kind of focus when we did before Watchmen. So we were kind of prepped this time around. I think what really made us very confident that this would go over well is that Jeff came up with this great story. I mean, it all came from that. It wasn't a desire to um, create an epic uh, mega crossover that would involve the entire DC line and, and multiple uh, tie-in books. I mean, we do that, and we do that well. Uh, but this is really a very personal story that really comes out of um, a story that Jeff has been kind of uh, putting together for quite some time, and he only wanted to work with Gary Frank on it. Gary was actually a little reticent in sort of signing on. He had to really convince him. Uh, but it was really only a project those two guys could do together. And the amount of care and craft and time and attention they're putting into it really speaks to how personal and how serious they're taking it. That said, the book itself is, you know, as you saw, it's, uh, it's going to surprise people in terms of its tonality, what it reveals. Uh, additions that it adds, but at the end of the day, they're doing it because they have a very specific story they want to tell, and it actually unlocks a lot of other cool creative stuff for the DC Universe. You mentioned how it's, it's a self-contained story. It's, it's 12 issues, and it's not like most other events, which, um, you know, comics fans have seen over the past few years, where, it's, you know, multiple tie-ins, whatever, and that was, was that important to Jeff and Gary to make this just that story and not have other stuff interfering with that? Yeah, I, it, I think it made it a challenge for all of us, actually, in the company, is how do we publicize and promote something that they really wanted to kind of, they wanted to keep it under wraps as much as possible because they want people to have that um, sense of discovery as they turn the pages in real time after they bought the book that Wednesday in stores. And, and uh, you know, the marketplace is really different from decades ago when that was really kind of the way comics were, were rolled out. So, um, yeah, but I mean, we're excited to have unveiled the first six pages. And again, we feel that this is a, a tremendous story. It's probably the work of both those guys' careers. And we expect that the fan reaction will be really, really positive. So um, that's what makes these kinds of risks uh, worthwhile. And at the end of the day, like I said, I think it's going to unlock some really cool ideas and, and uh, storylines down the road.